Hello and welcome to Comcast Local Edition. I'm Terry Hardesty. Today we are joined by Charles Marsala, who is the mayor of Atherton. Hi there. A very beautiful, quaint little town of about 7,000 people. Yes, and, very charming. Oh, it's, it's great. And one of the things that you really focused on this year is park facilities and infrastructure. Yes. Mm -hmm. As we start this year, we have a council that's very experienced, and we have some issues that have been on the back burner for a while. So we want to address those while we have uh, a financing in place. We just passed a tax to fund a lot of our regular services, so that's behind us for five or six years. Our park needs some addressing. We, are, we have a beautiful park, about 23 acres. It was donated to the town. And one of the things the county is looking at is the county also has problems. Most of the other cities in the county do. And there's going to be in November an eighth of a cent uh, sales tax vote of the residents of the county. And that would allow us to get 200000 a year in funding, as the county itself would receive a total of about $16 million for the mm -hmm. county and all of the cities combined. And getting that passed would ensure that we would have long-term financing for that park and be able to manage the facilities. We have some historic buildings, a water tower mm -hmm. from the 18th century, mm -hmm. a carriage house, and these need repairs continuously as we have tennis courts and many other facilities. This is something that will probably easily pass. It, it, it should. It's already been tested, mm -hmm. so we're very excited about that. The, it actually was very complicated to get it on the ballot. The governor had to sign it. The legislature had wow. to sign it. It was, took a lot of effort. Um, the, the supervisors did a great job of getting participation in testing it to see that the county was in favor of it. So I think it would be very successful. Mm -hmm. But it all, with any tax increase, you have to justify it. And you have to present it very well. And you're also talking about infrastructure in terms of the Caltrain and, and the new high rail system. Yes. Well, high speed rail, we've just seen the baby bullets go in. And as Caltrain has adjusted to uh, try to meet their changing needs, it affects Atherton. We've had our station closed for, for weekly ser daily service, weekday service. We're still open on the weekends right now. but long term as the, the governor's just postponed a vote on high speed to Los Angeles and there's some talk that to do that we might have to do grade separation so we're working with other cities and the county Atherton's in a very difficult spot there and we have residents that go right up to the train tracks and to elevate those tracks would, would be very disastrous to their backyards and their quality of life as well as and it, it's a, a large number as it cuts mm -hmm. through our town and also the concern is when you, if you put a separation there, do you create two towns? And mm -hmm. that would be very bad as well. These are all things that you really need to plan and look forward to. And one of the things is disaster preparedness. Now, many cities are focusing on this right now, and uh, you're from New Orleans, yes. so you really have a particular interest in this area. Terry, I actually went back to New Orleans and, and met with some of the mayors down in New Orleans, and then went to D.C. and met with some of the FEMA people to see how they were handling it, because they had some family down there and had a special interest in what's going on. So one of our residents even donated a truck, and we went down and gave <laughs> the keys to somebody down there that was a carpenter to help him get started back. So yeah. our town, I, I met with, we're fortunate the Menlo Atherton Fire District was sent to New Orleans. And we wow. were working with them to see what things they need and how we would handle things and how we would do our neighborhoods and our planning. We have supplies, we have water and cots and stuff to take care of a disaster, but we need to take it to the next level. The schools, we have nine schools in our town. We have a lot of neighborhoods we need to be ready for. Mm -hmm. What did you learn from going down there that you, that you actually brought back? Well, I, I learned that the, the city officials need to know where things are. And that the, I didn't see, and as I read some of the notes from the National Guard, there wasn't supplies for the first responders. Mm -hmm. So if you call for help and, the, and you tell the people that are coming to help you, they got to bring their own cots, their food, their water, mm -hmm. you're gonna, they're mm -hmm. going to have to pack mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. And they're, it's going to slow them down. And that was our biggest thing is we need to be ready so the, the people come to help us, we're ready to take care of that. We've got communication set up, mm -hmm. and our police department has been going through a lot of training. Okay, so all that's going forward, and you learned from a disaster, which yes. is a bad thing, but a good thing. Yes. Okay, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Charles, Mar here. Charles Marsala, the mayor of Atherton. And this is Comcast Local Edition. I'm Terry Hardesty. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. To join the Smarter Conversation, visit MarcellaForLA.com.